Hi guys, it's Charlotte here from charlotteohara.ca and in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to add an Instagram feed onto your website. So I'm sure you know Instagram, like literally everybody loves it. It's such a fun way to connect with your audience, whether you have a website or a business or brand, anything like that. And so oftentimes you'll see that people will want to add that Instagram feed onto their website. And luckily for you, Squarespace makes this super easy. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. All right, let me minimize my face here. Okay, so what you have here is Squarespace. This is the back end of my website, charlotteohara.ca. And you can see I've got like my homepage here. And for the demonstration purposes, let's say that in this footer content at the bottom, I want to add my Instagram feed right at the bottom there so that, you know, I've got my final search bar and everything. And then at the bottom, I've got like a nice little kind of grid of all my Instagram stuff. So to do this, it's really simple. So what you do is um, like within the footer content, you see you hover over it here, you would just click edit. And then down at the very bottom, you click one of the insert to insert a content block. And then from here, if you scroll down, you'll notice there's a section at the bottom that says social blocks. And the Instagram one is what you're going to click right over here. All right, so let me just move that there so I can see it. So this is, you're going to get a box like this, it's going to pop up here. And it's going to tell you to, um, connect an account, first of all, if you haven't already. And I do have another video about that, which I'll link to in the description that shows you exactly how to connect it. Um, or you can just follow through with the instructions here. But for the case of this, I'm gonna show you, they've just, um, if you see behind here, you can see that there's like a fake Instagram grid here. Um, so this is basically what will happen. And then you'll see that the Instagram is done that way. And you can choose to toggle through with the amount of number of items that you're showing, whether it's like nine or, you know, if you want like way up there to 20 or something, you can go for it, but you know, pick a number that works well for you. And now I want to show you the next tab that's important because we've got the account set up now and now we're going to go to design. So within design, you can see there's four different options of way you're presenting your Instagram feed. You can do slideshow, carousel, grid, or stacked. Personally, I like the grid one, but you know, go with whichever one works well for you. You can change the aspect ratio here. Um, crop images, I always leave that one selected. Um, show tile is a really good one. So uh, show the title, sorry. That's a good one if you're using especially the, um, like the stacked, if you're showing like a stacked version of Instagram, you know, down at the bottom there, you might want all of your captions to be going on that. But since our case, we're using grid, um, you know, it doesn't always make the most sense to have that, but do you, uh, you can choose a number of thumbnails per row. And then next one is the padding around the grid. So this one is a really neat one to play around with because it can really switch up the design aesthetic. So if you scroll over to a lower padding, you see the amount of black space between the images decreases. Whereas if you slide over to the right and increase the padding, then you're getting a lot more space between the images. So, you know, pick whichever look and feel you're going for and it'll work well. You can also choose if you want uh, the image to pop up in a light box or open a link in a new window, which is something personally that I usually select with Instagram. Um, but you know, pick what you want. And then once that's done, you just hit apply. And, you know, again, we're just working off the demo one, but you could connect your own account very simply through the directions. And I have another video tutorial that I've linked through there, but you can see how it's done. And then final step is just to click save. So this is really cool too. Another quick word about Instagram's blocks is that you can also incorporate, um, searching based only on hashtags, which is super cool because let's say you're a brand and you want to show all the, um, your followers who are, you know, Instagramming with a certain hashtag, then you can select only those to filter through. Um, or, you know, maybe you want to show something from an event that just happened. You can search through all the filtered ones that way. And, you know, using that hashtag is super cool. And I love having this in the footer section of some of the websites that I work on 
uh, because it just adds a really nice visual content to your site, but you can add it onto any page of your website. You can add it within a blog post, basically anywhere that you would put a content block, you can totally add the content block to showcase an Instagram feed. So there's plenty of ways to be creative about it. And as you can see, it's really simple to do. And having this content block along with like up above here, you can see in my pre-footer content, I've got links to my various social media channels. It's a good way if you're gonna include Instagram to include both the icon up here in the pre-footer content and as well down below, just because you get that added visual flair. All right, so that shows you how simple it is to add Instagram to your website and you can put it on any blog page or um, blog post or web page of your site and it's really simple to do and once you get your account connected it's up and running in no time. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it be sure to give it a thumbs up or leave a comment down below and you can also hit the red subscribe button which is a great way to stay up to date with all of the latest videos that I film for my YouTube channel. And if you haven't already, be sure to check out my website, which is charlotteohara.ca. And on my website, I've got tons more content about website design and development and Squarespace and tech tips in general. So definitely go take a look if you haven't. Thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.